Welcome back, I'm Jason Sirikaku, team lead for Phoenix Home Collective at Realty One Group, and this is your Phoenix real estate market update for September. Ah, September, when most of the country rejoices for the return of pumpkin spice everything and sweater weather, here Arizonans are enjoying slightly cooler pool temperatures and counting down the days until mosquitoes are gone. Got but football is upon us. And winter is coming. Home inventory is steadily increasing in the valley and buyer demand has seen a slight uptick. The average days a property goes under contract from the time that it's listed to the time a contract has accepted has gone up from eight days in August to nine days in September. While it is still an extremely favorable market for sellers, buyers are feeling a little bit of relief. The slight increase in inventory is giving buyers more options and is reducing the total number of purchase offers on any given property. Whereas a few months ago, sellers may have received 10 to 15 offers on average, today they're receiving more like three to five offers. One thing is clear is that the rapid appreciation we saw over the last year is starting to slow considerably. Seasonally around this time of year, we tend to see contract ratios in Phoenix fall off a bit. That's not the case this year. A contract ratio represents the percentage of homes currently under contract compared to the homes that are still available for sale. Now at some point, interest rates are gonna go up, property appreciation will flatline, and properties that are already overpriced are gonna see additional price reductions. But the idea that property values are gonna fall off a cliff is grossly exaggerated. The fact is, it's simple supply and demand. We simply don't have enough homes for our growing population. And while home builders are building as fast as they can, supply chain restrictions are hampering their ability to keep up with demand. The population for Maricopa County increased nearly 15.8% between 2010 and 2020. That's over 603,000 people. And that's a lot of homes. That increase is higher than any other county in the nation during that period. It's gonna be a long time before we have enough inventory to create a balanced market where both buyers and sellers have equal ground. And that's your Phoenix market update for September. Now I need you to do three things. Like this video, subscribe to catch new content every Monday, and hit that bell icon to be notified when we roll out new videos.